picture on any Apple device. Um, and to start off, I'm going to be showing you in Chrome. So in Chrome, you can kind of see that I have this uh, floating window and you don't even need this uh, background tab to be open. You can just have something else separately. Um, and I'm going to show you really quickly. So let's say you have a YouTube video playing. Um, all you have to do is right click and then right click somewhere else and you can find a picture in picture menu. So that's good for uh, YouTube, but let's say you want to do it for something like Twitch. Um, the right click method here doesn't work, but what you can do is download this Chrome extension. I'll put a link in, down in the description. Um, if you just download it, this is made by Google, so I'd say it's pretty trustworthy. Uh, you start watching a video and then you just click the button in your tab bar. Uh, you click that and you'll have the same looking extension bar right here. And that's pretty much the same thing for YouTube. Um, this button still works for YouTube as well. So let's say I'm watching this video. Um, if I press the picture in picture, it'll make this like that. This doesn't just work for YouTube and Twitch. It'll work for pretty much any other video program um, on the web. So that's it for Chrome. And if you're a Safari user like me, you can do pretty much the same ability, like same picture in picture, but this one's a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so you can do the right click and then right click somewhere else for enter picture in picture. Uh, and what this does is you do get a pause button and a play button, and you can press this button to bring it back. For some other websites like Netflix and Twitch, you can't right click for that same feature. Uh, so what you do want to do is you can't have it muted. Um, if you have, if you see this little uh, volume icon in your um, tab bar, if you right click it, you can enter picture in picture. This also works for pretty much any other website. Um, and obviously you can resize it however you want. You can pause, play, and then this button will bring back um, the picture in picture back to its original website. So this one also, you can have it open like this. You can actually have the whole page minimized um, and clicking this button will bring you back. So like I said, this will work for both um, or pretty much any video website uh, on the internet. And I wanna show you how to do it on the iPad. So picture-in-picture picture on the iPad is basically the same thing as on the Mac. Uh, so let's say you're watching a YouTube video like this, you can go into full screen mode, and then you'll see this icon on the top left corner. If you press that, it'll give you a little picture-in-picture picture mode right here, and you can resize it however you like and drag it to wherever you want to put it. Another thing you can do is just hide it and have the audio playing in the background. Uh, another cool thing is that when you tap it once, you have different media controls, so you can play, pause, uh, go back 15 seconds or go forwards 15 seconds um, and the same buttons here you can press that one to uh, minimize or go back to the original screen and you can just leave your screen from here. Um, so users in the US can currently do um, picture in picture with YouTube's native app uh, and that kind of works like how Netflix does it. So let's say I'm going to watch this random TV show. Uh, I'm not going to play too much of it but if you go leave your screen, um, it'll give you a little picture-in-picture -picture mode right here. Uh, the same thing you can do here is you can skip 15 seconds, go back 15 seconds, resize it however you like. Um, and a cool thing about this is it's actually really nice for productivity. Um, not for Netflix, but whenever I'm trying to take, uh, let's say, math notes, my teacher usually gave out um, YouTube videos to watch. Um, so I would have, let's say, like some random notes app in notes app open while having a video in the, the corner so I didn't have to have uh, let's say like a separate device or um, maybe like my uh, like a split screen window I can just have a picture in picture screen while taking my notes um, and now I'm going to show you how to do picture in picture on the iPhone so it's the same exact thing uh, for the iPhone so you can go into some random YouTube video like this and you can go into picture in picture and the same thing, you can do uh, three size with two fingers and you still get the media buttons like this. So you can play, pause, skip 15 seconds, rewind 15 seconds, the same thing. Uh, and there's the button here to go back to the main screen. This also works with uh, Netflix. For example, I'm watching Star Trek Discovery on this one. Uh, let's, I'm gonna play it really quick and I can, re I can exit out of the application and it'll give me this picture in picture screen here. So you can resize it, play, pause, same thing. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's not my best edited video, but I just wanted to get this information out there. 
So if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. Thank you and bye.